Hi everyone. Yay! We're here for another energy reading, current energy reading for this week, which is the week of November 25th, unless you are running into this at another time completely. And then there's going to be something in here for you as well. So wherever you are, whenever you are, if you're watching this, there is going to be something here for you. But specifically, it's going to be for, yeah, for this coming week. So current energy reading for the coming week. We're just going to pull a couple of cards, see what comes out, see what we get. This is for the collective that is watching this. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. It's a good one. Truth be told. And we have a little owl with a magic portal of some kind. That's a thing that's happening. Okay, I love it. So, okay, feels like there's, there's some communication that wants to happen. There's some truth that, huh, truth that wants to be told as per the card. Um, so, and this truth might be to yourself. This truth might be to someone you're in a relationship with. This truth might be uh, to a coworker around your work, around relationships. It's, it feels like there is a specific truth that wants to come through now. And this might be a truth that you don't even know yet at this point. So if, you know, if as you're listening to this, you have a, a sense of what that truth is, then there you go. There you go. <laughs> but if you don't really have a keen sense yet of what this truth is, it's possible that this is a truth that's going to be either, you know, told to you, or it's going to bubble up from your subconscious and give you something that is going to serve you really well. Um, so I'm actually going to go to the little message because I think there's going to be something in here for us as well. Okay, truth be told. Essential meanings, honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles. That feels like the sentence that we really need right now. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles. So, ah. <sighs> authentic and flawed. I think it feels like there's there's some perfectionism that's that's keeping you stuck. Um that's keeping us stuck cuz of course all these messages come through for me as well. Um so if if there's a place in your life where you're really trying to do things right, trying to do things perfectly, trying to make everything, you know, everything look nice whether that's um you know in your life or on your Instagram account or wherever it is, Allow yourself to be messier because that messiness is where the juice is. That messiness is where the good stuff is. And that's where we can form connections with people. That's where we can, you know, the idea of your mess is your message. Um, that feels really, really prevalent and prominent right now. So, so play with that. See how that, that feels to you. And of course, with all of these messages, because this is a group reading, you know, take what resonates for you and leave the rest. And it feels like we want to pull a prosperity card now, an abundance card. So, you know, whatever you are being challenged with around money or wanting to create in terms of money, this will, this will help. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's a good card to pull for money. Serendipity and also a four leaf clover. So that's some, some good luck. So it feels like Ooh, interesting. What just came through is the winds of luck are shifting. So if you felt like you haven't been lucky with your finances, with money, that is changing right now. And if you feel like, well, it's not about luck, it's about hard work, it's about mm, doing it right. This is where the perfectionism comes back in. It feels like maybe allowing yourself to be a little bit messier with it. Allow, interesting, the, the phrase, the grace of God. 
um, allow the grace of God to, to move through you, move through your money, move through your finances, and that's going to really serve you well. Um, okay. Yeah. So let's see what the actual message is. Okay, here we go. You've stepped into alignment with the greater good where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is the time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into now, into being now, will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected. And smile, for spirit loves you so very much. Okay, and the specific prosperity message with this card is, you are in the right place at the right time. Be grateful, for the stars are aligned in your favor and fortune is smiling on you. Victory and success are yours. The choices you have made in the past have prepared you for the opportunities now before you. This is your lucky moment. The timing is perfect. And actually, this really resonates for today, which is November 25th, and tomorrow, November 26th. Um, apparently, and I'm not an astrologer, so I don't know this. I just saw this on Instagram. But apparently, these are the two uh, luckiest days of the year. Um, so this is Sunday and then tomorrow, Monday, these are the two luckiest days of the year. So anything you do or set into motion will be really, you know, smiled upon. Um, you know, not that we necessarily need to, um, believe in luck or feel like, oh, it has to be a lucky time for something to succeed. But this energy is going to really assist you in bringing into being, grounding what you've been seeing and creating in the ether and grounding it into reality. These are two really good days for that. So that is something to, to keep in mind as you um, kind of move forward with whatever it is that you're doing right now. Okay, feels like we want to pull one more card for something specific. Hmm. Okay, it feels like someone who's watching this has a specific question. And for some reason, it feels like that specific question is going to be useful for the collective. I just don't know what the question is. So let me feel into that. Okay, it is going to be for the animal deck. Okay, so what is... Do we need to know the question or can I just pull this, this card kind of randomly? Feels like it's to do with a family relationship. Um, is this the card? Oh, okay. Sea serpent. Okay, yeah, so we've got this sea serpent chasing its tail and it feels like if this is about a family relationship for you or if you're you know you're tuning into something else for yourself when you when you see this card um it feels like you've been kind of running around in circles and just wearing yourself out with whatever this situation is and that you know you're welcome to do that as much as you want we all do that sometimes but it doesn't really serve you well now so actually it feels like stepping back is going to really serve you in this um and this yeah this might be a family relationship this might be a romantic relationship it just feels like stepping back and giving it room to breathe giving it space giving it air surrendering um you know whatever it is you want and just knowing that what is best, what is in your highest interest and the highest interest of, you know, the other party, that's going to unfold. And it's going to unfold naturally. You don't need to push it. You don't need to force it. Um, and there's something else that the actual message is going to give us. Okay, here we go. When the energy of the sea serpent is not yet activated, our emotions and creativity are left in the muddy waters. The current of expression stagnates in some areas of our life and in other places it floods. It's important to remember no matter what the waters of our emotional life look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. Like a mother, she wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection. She, she supports us as we learn to express our true nature. So this is also about feeling feelings right now. This is about feeling something that's been buried really deeply 
um, within you, you know, something that is only just starting to come to light because you've been doing so much work, um, both consciously and subconsciously. And all of that work is helping you get to the place where you can unearth this really, this, this kind of, it's like a nugget. It's like a buried nugget of emotion that really wants to be expressed, wants to be felt, wants to be released so that you can stop chasing your tail so that you can move into something. And it feels like this is a relationship, you know, somewhere. Um, and by somewhere, I mean like with family or with um, a partner or, you know, even with yourself, your relationship with yourself. Um, so when this is felt and or expressed, then you're going to be able to move into this, um, it feels like this greater expression of love. So if there's something that's been bubbling up and you've been pushing down, or there's something that you you've been noticing is under there and you just need to spend some time with it, now's a really good time to do that because it will open you up to, to new possibilities. It will, ex it will help you expand in your ability to love in this, you know, in this body, in this life, in this form, because of course, you know, you at your core are pure love and you don't need to be taught anything about love at all. But sometimes when we get into our human, <laughs> we need a little bit more help. So that's where our emotions can really serve us. That's where feeling the feels can be really valuable. And I know it can be really frustrating when we've done all this work and we feel like, okay, why is there still something that, why do I still need to do something? <laughs> Why am I not done yet? This can this can come up. Um, so just know that if you're feeling frustrated because you feel like you've been working so hard and you're like, I still have things to uncover, come on. Um, just know that it's because you've done all this work that this is even coming to light. Most people live their entire lives without unearthing the emotions that are really deeply held. And it's through unearthing and feeling those deeply held emotions that we can you know, create things, create beautiful works of art. We can create the life we want. We can experience more joy. Feeling those deeply held emotions clears space. And the space basically opens us up to, to joy, to wonder, to magic, to our own creativity, our own love, all of these really wonderful things that we all want. But feelings are an imperative piece of this. So just looking at the cards that I've pulled to see if there's if there's any other messages that want to come through, any bigger patterns. Let's see. Mm. No, actually, it feels like that's good. It feels like everything that wanted to come through has. So I hope that that is helpful for you this week or whenever it is that you watch this. I hope that this has served you well in some way and sending you a lot of love. And if you want to hang out with me online, I'm at amberadrian.com and lots of love. <laughs>